All right, guys, welcome back. This is day 14, Tuesday. No, sorry, Thursday. I can't read. Let's jump straight into it. So we've got this card from the last episode. It's got this, uh, it says eight miles to the east of this symbol. And I remember we got a coin. Where is it? Here it is. The coin says Gosforth. So I'm assuming eight, eight miles east of Gosforth. Let's give that a try. See, this one seems like it's kind of easy. Sometimes the these uh, dailies, these daily riddles are kind of difficult. Here it is. All right. Gazing at the still water of the lake, its black waters draw me into a reflective trance. Here, the flowers that I don't recognize grow along the bank. Two flowers. Hey. It's getting to the point where, like, there's so many flowers I can't keep track. There's so many. Thora Dunn. Well, he went and ate those bloody mushrooms. And of course, now he's sick. Is there anything we can do? He's in a bad way and I'm worried about him. Okay, so... He ate these mushrooms. This is what I found when I went to the place that she directed me to. So we have to figure out what these are. Red spongy caps. So we're looking for a mushroom. Spongy mushroom with potent abilities. Okay. Okay. Can only be consumed in small quantities. Yeah, that's probably what happened. You probably ate way too many. All right, so this is what it is. So now we have to figure out. Yeah, let, let's let's do this first. So this is Farmer's Worry. I think. And uh, we need to figure out what the antidote is. So often fatal, an antidote can be made using Royal Gentia. We have that. I think that's the one with the kidney shaped flowers, pink kidney shaped flowers. I don't know why I remember that. Yeah, we have this. There we are. I thought we were going to have to make the cure, but I guess we just give that to her. Liverstone. Caution is advised when handling this plant due to the strong paralyzing agents contained within. It says it has pointed caps. This has pointed caps. Is this Liverstone? Just in case. Okay. Forest Fair. Oh, Forest. What did they do to you? I have been to Blackcomb. I have fought the servant and lived, but still my adversary stands. Yeah, I guess by the looks of it, it must be defeated. For my part, I am ashamed to say that I am done. My soul could use the tonic of St. Quentin's elixir if I'm ever to recover from the horror that I have seen. Wow, you got jacked up. All right, so St. Quentin's elixir, we have to do this now. Five pointed leaf for courage, a red flower to protect the mind and the seed pod. Okay, so according to the description, we have, all right, so these two are five pointed leaves. There's this one right here. I don't know what this is yet. We're gonna, we're gonna try this one out. 
That one's, well, sorry, I, I do know what that one is. That's Daisy Dock. It's described, the way it's described, it matches what, it, what the, uh, the riddle says. So red flower, uh, this is one of the very few red flowers that I have. So I hope this is right. Let's see if we can ID it. So I think this is candlewood. Long thin stems. I think this is candlewood. I hope I'm right. Lastly, a seed for pod luck, a seed pod for luck. Now there's one plant here that has huge seed pods. <laughs> gigantic, these are gigantic seed pods. I think this is probably it. Can we identify this? Sheep snap. This looks like a giant seed pod. Good fortune, hard out of shell. Bulb of Bayonne is an alias. Okay. Okay. Um, let's go for it. it. Took a while to look at look all of these up, but I think I'm right. have our elixir where is it all right let's label it I'm not even sure if this is right I don't know if we should be labeling it yet but let's just label it just in case we're right okay let's give it to so far as Vare and hope he has a better day. We got it. I can't believe it. Can't believe it. Priddle. Coveted by the rich. Pretty Priddle is crushed to make dyes. A very rare plant that is hard to come by. Requires great care to cultivate. Alright, next customer. A oh, mailman. There is a hateful man I sometimes see around town. He's called Isidore Burbage. Yeah, I know him. Yesterday I saw him bending down as though to pet a stray dog, but instead he punched it as hard as he could. I rushed over and the coward fled. Someday he'll get his comeuppance. That, he punched a dog? Oh man, now I wish I had done something to him. Sad Gil, Chalice. Alright, we know how to do these. These are easy. Get this out of here. Where is Sad Gil? Here it is. Chalice. The Chalice clue takes me directly to the south of Sadgill to a spot next to the river. Moss-covered rocks line the back, the banks, velvet to the touch. In the moist conditions, a deadly-looking plant grows abundantly in the lush grass. A deadly-looking plant. Okay. Yeah, that's that qualifies. Yikes. Reuben Ward. Verona tells me you're working on gathering the plants for a ritual that will help us defeat this, this creature. I want to help in any way I can. From what Verona told me, I think this might be one of the plants needed to perform the ritual, but I'm afraid I do not know where it can be found. Swift Snare. Okay. Once it's snared, it is impossible to extricate, extricate oneself without help. So if it has small heart-shaped leaves, small heart-shaped leaves. That's the only clue we get. And that's going to be hard. I think there's several plants like that. Next customer. Molly Bell. 
My daughter is getting married and I want to decorate the church with nice flowers. Oh, I think I know what she wants. I believe there's a plant with small, yeah, blue cup-like flowers that is supposed to bless their union. I don't remember what it's called, but... We have this. It's this one. Trimblehuff. Let me just double check. Let's not be too hasty. Yeah. Decoration for weddings. Strengthens relationships. That's what you want. All right. Wow, that was quick. Very short day, so I think we're going to do another one after this. All right, so the next card. Wow, that's interesting. Behind the woman, a dark skeletal figure began to rise and a low primal snarl sounded across the clearing. The shepherd turned and ran, cold fear cursing, coursing through his veins. He did not run for long. Wow, so he got... Uh, Okay, it's not good for him. This is an interesting card. All right, day 15. All right, I don't know how, what does this mean? Decay gives way to new life, to new growth from death, life. The cycle starts again west of White Scar by the river. That's the clue. West of White Star. So that's White Scar. It must mean here. The sun-bleached skull fixes me with its black-eyed gaze. A reminder, from the chest of the skeleton, a plant grows. Okay. First customer. Male. I've lived in Undermere all my life, and I've never seen the people as worried as they are now. Everyone's talking about the sisterhood and the servant. Some day, somebody needs to do something to stop the beast. I have a feeling that's going to fall on me. I was speaking to a woman from Arnside who told me about a cave nearby that locals stay away from. Apparently, there is a strange plant that grows there, but the cave is believed to be haunted. Unfortunately, she was vague about where the cave was. Somewhere to the east was what she would say. When I pressed her, warmest regards, Amos Duncan. All right, a cave near. Is this White Scar? That we we were just there. That's a cave. East of Arnside. Yeah. A thin crack runs down the rock face, widening as it nears the ground, just wide enough for a man to slip through. But there's a problem. A large boulder blocks the entrance, too heavy to move. Okay, so we identified Farmer's Worry. Right? Or I think we did. Yeah, it has to be. It has to be. This is right. Right. Okay. Twilight Le Lepiota. In the twilight, where shadows grow, take, le take leaf and root and eye and crow. A plant of gloom and despair and dark magic. The smell it gives off is quite foul. What does it do? I mean, we pretty much confirmed that this is Farmer's Worry, so let's change it to yellow. Alright. This away. I guess this is finished. We don't need that. Two more plants. Great. 
and they're, they're very similar looking. Faye Swift. Why can't I remember? There was something important. I know there was, but there's only darkness now. She wants sour bandy. I'm fairly certain we have not uncovered this one yet. Yeah. Okay. So it has a very large st stamen, stamen. I'm not sure how you pronounce that word. I'm gonna go with stamen. I know what it. I know what that is. I just don't know how to pronounce it. I think it's this one. Yeah, the large stamen. You can't. I don't think it's the other one. It's this one. It's this, it talks about it as being large. And that thing has a huge stamen. <clears throat> uh, all right, so sour bandy. It's coming back. It happened in a dream. The woman in the jade mask was screaming at me to get out. Instead, I went deeper. I entered the mind of the creature. It was like slipping into a dark pool, icy cold with who knows what terrors lurking beneath the surface. I felt powerful. Then suddenly something happened. She tore me out and my mind went dark. So she uh, tried to go into the mind of the jaded, the jade mask woman with her psychic powers. I have not been myself lately, she says. All right, Umbrella, a powerful balm against diseases of the heart. It will not be a cure once illness has set in, but it can ease pain and prolong life. Long rounded leaves and a flower that smells of strawberries. All right, that's very distinctive, a flower that smells of strawberries. We have to remember if we run across anything that's described as smelling like strawberries, that's our guy. Olden Gregory, my wife of 30 years is dying. That is the truth of it, as painful as it is to say out loud. The doctors say there's nothing they can do, but I cannot sit by and wait for it to happen. A man at the hospice let slip about a plant-based elixir. I don't think he meant for me to hear it, but I did, and it's all I can think about. I understand the risks, but any price is worth paying if it means she doesn't have to die. Yeah, I get it, man. All right, we'll try to help this guy. The elixir of the damned. All right, so we need to find these Latin names. Arbitum Alacritus, Maculosus, Retitentia, and Mens Fortis. Retinentia, Retinentia. Retinentia, like retina. All right, let's see if we can find these. Hopefully I have all three of them. Here's one. Cabalia. Arbutum Alacritus. So we have that, it should be labeled. Yeah, here it is. The tomb decorative. So that's our first part of the ingredient. Now we need to find Maculosis Retinentia. Wait, that's Mens Fortis. Okay. It's Dranthium. I remember this one. Where is it again? It's over here somewhere. Here it is. Dranthium. And last but not least. There it is. Henchuk. Maculosis retinentia. So it's going. It's one of these two. It's a bulb, bulb plant, right? There's only I have two bulb plants. 
technically three, but not two of the shape. Strawberry dipped in honey. See, this is the other plant we saw before. Was it umbrella? It said it smells like strawberries. So this is not what we're looking for. It has to be the other one. It has to be this one. Orange fruits have no noticeable odor. Striped appearance when cut open. That doesn't help me. Okay, we're going to go with this one. The other one, I think that's Umbrella. Fingers crossed. I really like making elixirs. I hope there's... I wish there was more of this. I wish that this had started earlier in the game. I said, we know what Henchuck is now. This is our new elixir. Let's label it. Give it to him first. All right. Elixir of the Damned. Haveridge. Pretty blue flowers line the stems of this sought after plant. So it's, you give this to someone you love and you will live long, blessed lives as long as you do so under the light of a full moon. It's got to be this one. The plant, the flowers look exactly the same. What is it again? Haveridge? It's not in here yet. Where is it? Here it is. Yeah, look at those flowers. That's exactly the same flower. Besides, I don't have anything that looks like that, so this has got to be Haveridge. Let's go ahead and label it. Tentatively. Okay. All right, put all this away and next customer. So you got both of our elixirs done. Althea O'Shea. What a delightful shop you have. I'm only in town for a brief visit, but I heard I might be able to get hold of some Liverstone here. Oh, wait. That's the purple fungus. I don't know if this is Liverstone. I hope it is. Oh, no. We were wrong. Ugh. Pain. Okay. Let's look it up. Where is it? Liverstone, here we go. A mushroom with pointed caps. That is a mushroom with pointed caps, if that's all I have to go by. But it does say it smells rotten. I think the description would have said so also. Well, let's remove this. Since we got that wrong. Okay. Let's look at the other mushrooms then. It can't be this one. I think I, I think I already know what that one is. The glowing one, that's Glowhorn. Um, maybe it's this one. Uh, this is probably it. Paralyzing agent. Yeah, my fingertips feel slightly numbed. This is it. Oh man, this is it. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, at least we figured it out. <laughs> oh, the jaded mask woman. I can't control it anymore. This has gone all this has all gone too far. I never meant for it to turn on my sisters. It's too strong. I, I'm trying to hold it back, but it wants to kill. That's all it wants. Death, death, and more death. You have to help me. Hey, you know what? You made your bed. I'm just kidding. All right. We have a choice of giving her widow's woe or dead man's fingers. 
Let's see what they do. And we'll go from there. But uh, yeah, she... You got in over her head for sure. So she's the art of that. She's the person that we're we're getting those little stories at the end of the at the end of the day. It's about her. Oh wait, I'm looking at the <laughs> I'm looking at the wrong description. So we're gonna give her dead man's fingers. I didn't actually locate it yet, and I couldn't figure out where it was. So I had to go back and figure out how to where it was. The clue they gave was it was impossible. All right, so we're gonna give her dead man's fingers. I was supposed to have that already. All right, so yeah, the description they gave here, I couldn't tell what they wanted out of this, so I had to go online and find out what what this clue was, what this clue even meant, because it's way too vague. I mean, I like the fact that this game doesn't hold your hand, but sometimes the riddles are just like, huh? So we're going to give her dead man's fingers. I think that makes more sense based on what it can do. And hopefully it saves the Arda. Carnivorous Torin, known in the north as Andrew's Bane after the unfortunate demise of a man called Andrew Jardine. He was caught and slowly eaten alive by a large specimen of the Torin. Revered in the occult world, a cross-section of the Torrent stem reveals pentagonal, pentagonal symmetry. Imagine being eaten by a plant. Not a lion or, a, you know, like a bear or an alligator. A plant. Keep that to myself. All right, Hollis Gibb. There's been talk over the last few nights down at the Royal Oak of a servant creature going around slaughtering people. I used to enjoy walking in the hills, but I daren't leave my house now. I've decided to bring nature to me in the meantime. The glow of the, the glow of a few pixie lamps would surely warm my heart. Okay. That is glowhorn pixie lamp. It's the green glowy fungus. Yeah, it's gotta be you. I can't get to it. Here we go. Okay. I, I, this is it. This has got to be it. I'd be shocked if it wasn't. All right. So that's day 15. I think next is the last day. Penny Bell. The leaves of the Penny Bell are chewed by some for their hallucinogenic properties. <laughs> However, it is highly addictive. Anything that's fun is highly addictive. So that's the end of it. Day 15 in the bag. Day 16 is the last day. Let's see if... Now, I know there are multiple endings to this game based on the decisions you made, so we'll see what happens in the next one. Oh, wait. I forgot about this. So let's do, let's do the card for the day. She finally had the power she had craved all these years, a servant to do as she willed, but the power came at a cost. The servant was awoken, and it would not be contained. It was the Dendru, the dread. It was death. Yeah, we're definitely on the last day. Last day coming up. Alright, well that's it. If you enjoyed this video, you already know what to do. As always, have a good one, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.